the Lord spake to Moses and said, Speak thou to Aaron, and thou shalt say to him, When thou hast set the seven lanterns and the candlestick to be raised in the south part, therefore command thou this, that the lanterns behold even against the north of the board of loaves of setting forth, those lanterns shall shine against that part that the candlestick belongeth to. And Aaron did so, and he put the lanterns upon the candlestick, as the Lord commanded to Moses. Suthly, this was the making of the candlestick. It was of gold beaten out with hammers, as well the middle stock, as all the things that came forth on ever either side of the rods, by the sample which the Lord showed to Moses. So he wrought the candlestick, and the Lord spake to Moses and said, Take thou the Levites from the midst of the sons of Israel, and thou shalt cleanse them by this custom. Be they sprinkled with water of cleansing, or of purification, and shave they all the hairs of their flesh, and when they have washed their clothes and be cleansed. They take an ox of the droves, and the flowing sacrifice thereof, flowered, sprinkled all together with oil. For sooth, thou shalt take another ox of the drove for sin, and thou shalt present the Levites before the tabernacle of the bond of peace when all the multitude of the sons of Israel is called together. And when the Levites be presented before the Lord, the sons of Israel shall set their hands upon them, and Aaron shall offer the Levites in the sight of the Lord a gift of the sons of Israel, that they serve in the service of him. Also, the Levites shall set their hands upon the heads of the oxen, of which oxen thou shalt make, or ordain one for sin, and the tother into burnt sacrifice of the Lord that thou pray for them. And thou shalt ordain the Levites in the sight of Aaron and of his sons. And thou shalt, and thou shalt make sacred them offered to the Lord. And thou shalt separate them from the midst of the sons of Israel, that they be mine. And afterward enter they into the tabernacle of bond of peace, that they serve me. And so, sh and so thou shalt cleanse and hallow them into an offering of the Lord. For by free gift they be given to me of the sons of Israel. I have taken them for the first begotten things that open each womb in Israel. For all, for all the first begotten things of the sons of Israel be mine, as well of men of be as well of men as of beast. From the day in which I smote each first engendered thing in the land of Egypt, I howled them to me, and I took the Levites for all the begotten of the sons of Israel, and I gave them by the free gift to Aaron and his sons. From the midst of the people that they serve me for Israel in the tabernacle of the bond of peace and that they pray for them lest vengeance be in the people if they be hardy tonight to the sanctuary and Moses and Aaron and all the multitude of the sons of Israel did upon the Levites those things that the Lord commanded to Moses and the Levites were cleansed and they washed their clothes and Aaron raised or presented them in the sight of the Lord and he prayed for them that they shall be cleansed and should enter to their and should enter to their offices into the tabernacle of bond of peace before Aaron and his sons, as the Lord commanded to Moses of the Levites, so it was done. And the Lord spake to Moses and said, This is the law of Levites, from five and twenty years and above they shall enter, for to minister in the tabernacle of bond of peace. When they have filled the fiftieth year of age, they shall cease to serve, and they shall be ministers of their brethren in the tabernacle of bond of peace, that they keep those things that be betaken to them. Soothly, they shall not do those works as they did before. Thus, thus thou shalt dispose Levites in their keepings.